Now we want to play a different sound when you have all three of the lights turned on, but only when all three of them are turned on. And we don't want to play the regular light turning on sound. So how do we do that? That requires a little bit of logic. So we're going to go into light bulb, and we're going to be working in the turn light on and turn light off methods. If you can see here, it says number turned on, and that's being tracked. Whenever a, num a light bulb is turned on, that number gets added to. When a light bulb is turned off, a number uh, one is taken away. So we're going to use that. So we need to make an if statement. An if statement is a basic conditional statement. If something is true, then do something. If it's not true, you do something else. So we say if the number turned on, and that's a custom Boolean that I made earlier. If that equals 3, then we're going to do something. I'm going to. So if that number equals 3, we're going to play a different sound. So let's copy this, paste it here. But instead of turn on clip, we're going to do all on clip. So if the number of lights turned on equals 3, we're going to play the all on clip sound. Else, or otherwise, we're going to play our regular light turning on sound. So we can now demo that. One, two, ah, but there's no sound. So we need to, we have these three selected, so we need a different sound. Let's use that one. So we're going to drag this subtle confirm two into all on clip we can hear that it will play different sound. There we go. So one thing that we want to do too is I go, I went ahead and just took out this last parameter for the spatial blend. So that way it sets it automatically to one um, because we want these playing on the light rather than in our head. So you'll notice that if you play the sound and then turn, it'll pan left and right and all that and get quieter as you get far away. Now we're going to use coroutines. Coroutines are very useful for different interactions and in gameplay, especially in audio. For now what we're going to do is make a coroutine that waits five seconds and then turns the light off. And then it's going to use the functions that we just edited to play the sounds. So I've already set up some calls to the coroutines up here. Uh, but now we actually have to make a coroutine. To do that, you do I enumerator, name the coroutine called wait and kill light. And that's going to take a parameter of a float called time to wait. Next, we're going to create a yield return new wait for seconds and we're going to pass it the amount of time that we want which we have up above time to wait then we're going to turn the light off by calling turn light off And we're done. So now, if we go back to the scene and play it, the lights will turn on. After five seconds, they will turn off. There you go. So now, if one turns off, 
before we get to the third one, it won't make the all on sound anymore. Only if all three of them are on. When you turn the last one on, will it make the all on sound? Coroutines are very useful for doing certain things in order, sequencing events, for waiting for time to pass. Um, if you need to wait for other scripts to execute before you have certain code in your script do something, you can use coroutines and yields. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at puremind.com.